I'm Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Art. Thanks again for stopping by for today's video tip. Now today's tip is really another one of those sayings that has far reaching ramifications in the game of baseball, okay? Uh, there's some phrase that only are specific to certain parts of the game, but this phrase is something that can impact a lot of areas of the game. It's one of those core statements for baseball players. And that statement is, go back before you go forward, okay? Let me show you all the areas where this can be a factor. Now, if I am pitching, one of the mistakes young pitchers will make is that they will rush. They're so anxious to get rid of the ball that they forget about, get it, forget about getting their weight back. So especially kids in the windup, they take a step back and they turn and a lot of little kids, instead of getting their weight all the way back, they have a tendency of going forward and they never get their weight fully back. So it can apply to pitchers, particularly young pitchers who are rushing, making sure that whether they're going from the stretch or the windup, their first movement is to go back before they go forward. From the windup, same thing. Learn, they come back before they go forward. And that's gonna prevent that pitcher from rushing. Now, many times you'll see that, uh, the saying, or hear that saying when it comes to hitting, okay? Because we know as hitters, we want to develop a lot of power. And so one thing we typically tell our hitters is if you are starting in a balanced position, 50-50 in terms of your weight distribution, 50-50 between each feet, when that pitcher is coming towards you, his arm starts to come towards you, we recommend that hitters start to go back, to load up. And in essence, they're doing the same thing we mentioned with the pitchers. They're getting their weight back before they go forward. But a lot of young hitters are so anxious about hitting the ball that their first movement is forward. And they end up jumping at the ball or lunging instead of getting their weight back and then going forward with all their momentum. Okay, so it applies to pitching. When you're bringing your knee up, get your weight back before you go forward. It applies to hitting, load up, get your weight back before you go forward to swing. And of course, anytime we throw a ball, if I'm a fielder and I catch, I'm not gonna catch the ball and just go forward. I'm going to catch the ball, go back before I go forward to throw the ball. So like I said, there's some sayings that really can impact many different areas of the game. And so that's why you'll hear a lot of coaches say, go back before you go forward. It's a common phrase and it targets a lot of different areas of the game and really promotes a lot of good mechanics and obviously allows the batter or the pitcher or the fielder to get the most out of their body and get more of their weight into the throw, the pitch, or the swing. All right, so start using that phrase. It's a good one. It can impact a lot of areas of the game, and hopefully it'll help your players uh, perform at their best. All right, folks, well, until next time, take care, have a great day, and thanks for watching.